Worthen FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Chelsea City away in the National League South. Adam, it's been a really tough couple of weeks. How are you planning on turning it around? Um, yeah, just sticking to what we do really. Um, it's been tough, but a lot, lot of learning um, to be done for, for everybody, myself included, um, the players. Um, you know, and that's, that's all we do. I think uh, there's, there's a nucleus of, of something good there. There's some, some good patterns and um, even like first half, I thought like watching the game back, we got into their half and then we was a bit wasteful. So that's one thing to look at. Just um, you know, when we get into the opponent's half, we it almost looks like we've got to go and score every time we do that. And you know, the the challenge for us is to now maintain some possession uh, in the opponent's half. Um, a lot of our plays, you know, playing up from the back and a lot in our half. Um, but yeah, once we get it in that half, it's, it's important that we keep it in there and, and work the opposition a bit more. Is that the main thing? Because it's been a lot of the same sort of style of football. It's that word in brand, possession base, with even the Ebbs Fleet game really going after them. Is that the difference? It's just taking those opportunities? Yeah, definitely. There's been, been, some, been some mistakes. There's no question about that. Um, you know, and like all we can do is keep showing the players and, and they're a good, honest bunch of lads that want to improve. Um, and that's what we've we've done throughout my time here. We've always looked to just keep on improving. Um, and yeah, this this week would be no different. Um, you know what what place to go and do it? Chelmsford away, real tough tough place to go. And it's not a place to go if you're low on confidence. Put it that way. Um, and for whatever reason, this group just seems to be up and down with their confidence. Whether it's an age, whether it's not enough. Um, players having experience at this level or not. Um, you can see now why uh, like Jake Robinson and Adam Alab were brought in at the start of the season. Um, it was for periods like this, but you know they're, they're not available. Um, so now it's up to other players to sort of carry that across and, and, um, and drive us forward. It's only eight games left in the season. It's been a learning curve for a lot of the players, as you said, younger players. Really big run in half teams in the playoffs, half teams that are down the down the bottom in the relegation area. Would you reckon going to be the big ones in this in this run? It's two very different challenges for those last eight games. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, eight, eight games to go, but you know, we, we, all we can do is just focus on Saturday, what we can control, and um, you know, make sure that we go. We've got a, you know, we, we talk a lot about how we play, our shape, and that, but the actual fundamentals of football is you got to work hard. You've got to play with an element of aggression uh, against your opponents, um, and you know, and, and play with confidence. Um, you know, that's that's ultimately what we want to see from our team, and it just seems a bit up and down at the moment. Um, but I think it's a little bit similar into the league, really. Um, there's teams in the playoffs that are struggling to find a bit of form. There's teams just outside the playoffs that are finding a bit of form. There's teams that are in the relegation that can go and win three, four, five games on the bounce. Um, it's just a league and um, I think it's, it's, it's tight. There's not much in the games. I mean, you know, one goal separated the game on Saturday and we're down to 10 men. And it's, you know, apart from, apart from Ebbsfleet, um, you know, I think every game other than those two have been by, by the fine sort of margins um, other than Oxford, uh, you know. So it is real, real sort of fine margins and it's about, you know, which team's going to take their chances on the day, um, get a little bit of luck or whatever. But yeah, we, we've got to focus on ourselves. We've got to, we've got to, you know, ultimately I think when we was having a good run, we was not conceding many goals. So that's got to be a real sort of focal point for us um, come, come Saturday. And one of the issues with that has been a few injuries for defenders. JB um, is obviously out though. I think you said Sasse he might be might be coming back soon. Joe Rye is obviously going to be suspended, although it might be. Is that a later one or is that is he going to be suspended from Saturday? On yeah, it normally kicks in a week after, so I'd assume Saturday um, he'll be bound for. Um, and then sort of Dan Bowery goes away on international duty, I believe, after that, so I might miss him for a couple of games. But yeah, he's, he's available to come back in. We've got JB, we've got uh, Ruben, Joel, Aaron. Um, you know, so we've got some 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 competition there still. And um, speaking of the defenders, Cameron yep. Cameron Tut's been away for, for quite a while now. It's been a, a long term uh, absence for him. It was a concussion quite early in the season. Just wondering where he's at at the moment. Is he is he getting on okay? And how's his recovery been? Yes, yeah, it's, it's been it's been tough for him. Um, you know, since his concussion, now he's been at work and getting headaches and, and stuff like that, and then trying to join back in training, and then a couple of days later 
get headaches at work again. So, you know, it's just about him, you know, getting through sessions without the recurrence of, of um, you know, getting headaches and, and whatnot that he's been getting. So, you know, I think football's become a bit of a sort of, uh, it took a bit of a backseat for him and it's just a case of him, you know, being well enough to play. Um, you know, so it's it's been concerning. He's been for t to see his GP. He's been for X-ray scans and everything to make sure everything's okay. And you know, whenever he gets these headaches, we tend to follow the sort of um, concussion protocol. Um, Sam and Elise have been really good and on that. And um, you know, every time he gets a headache, it puts him back a couple of weeks because that's the protocol for concussion. And you know, it's it's best to to be ultra cautious um, when it comes to that your sort of head and um, any sort of injuries to that. Um, but yeah, it's been, no no one's been more frustrated than Tutty. Um, you know, he's just had a wretched run of injuries, picking up niggly injuries, missed four or five weeks with, with hamstrings, with, with quads or whatever he, he's had. Um, and then obviously the concussion come along and he's like really struggled to come back from it. So, you know, the, Ultimately, we want him to be able to work without getting any any headaches, and um, you know, once he can do that, then start progressing, um, you know, his, his program. But you know, it's been been a concerning one, and, and one that we're gonna you know make sure he's right before he comes back. Do you think everyone, on behalf of everyone at Worthing fans, staff, everyone, I think everyone's got him in his, on their in their thoughts, hoping he's better soon. It's been a it's been a horrible one for him. To go a little bit. Uh, side go back onto the pitch looking ahead to Saturday what are you expecting from that game it's, it's a tough opponent in Chelmsford they were really impressive here but they've also been a bit up and down themselves so what do you think about it? Oh uh, yes uh, tough game uh, like like they all are um, I thought it was a really good game here, actually it could have gone either way that one although I think that was 3-1 um, but you know I thought we'd, we'd play well and had some good chances on the day um, you know if we take them it's a, it's a completely different game and um, yeah I was pleased with with lots of how that game went so yeah it'd be a case of um, like I say just want to see us get back to what we do do well um, and like I said you know go through formations we can go through that but you know the actual fundamentals um, of us you know working hard sprinting after the ball and being a, a, a tough player to play against a tough team to play against um, you know those sort of uh, basics of, of football um, don't change no matter what shape or formation you're playing and how you play um, so we want to really you know just um, echo that and you know make the players aware of those you know key fundamentals that we need to need to work on